Hello OG squad, we are on the last few days of lockdown level 4, but that does not mean that the virus is going away. We need to continue being careful and taking good care of ourselves like we have been doing. In today's video, I am going to be showing you my skincare routine. Another day, another video for the OG squad. Let's get on with it. <laughs> Today's video was requested by some of you after seeing my everyday skincare routine video. If you haven't seen that video, please go check it out. As you know, before we touch our face, we're just going to start by washing our hands. I am now rinsing my face with clean warm water before I start with my skincare routine. So today I woke up and I went for a walk and I did apply sunscreen before stepping out of the house. So I'm also cleaning that sunscreen off my face. I am now going to make my face scrub. I am going to mix a bit of maize meal. That's maize meal right there. I am going to mix this maize meal with my Mineraline Dead Sea Mineral Face Wash. That is the face wash that I am going to be using. So the maize meal helps to remove dead and dead skin cells. I know other people use brown sugar for scrubbing. I guess you can use whatever works for you. I just prefer maize meal because it's not that harsh on my skin compared to the brown sugar. So that is my paste. I am now applying the face scrub that I've just mixed. Just make sure that you rub this in a circular motion and make sure to be gentle on your face. So this video is playing on a fast mode right now. So just be as gentle as you can. And also remember to apply this around your neck. So I have used all the scrap that I made. I am now washing off that face scrub. Once you are done washing your face, you pet dry with a clean towel. I am now going to use my Mineraline Dead Sea Peel Off Mask. This mask 
draws out dirt and impurities from your pores. Looks like we're running out of product. <laughs> Something is coming out. This is very cold on the skin. I am now going to cover my face with the mask. Just make sure that when you apply this, you do not apply anywhere where you have got face hair. Because when it's time to peel it off, it will pull out your hair and that can be very painful. Okay, now my face is all masked. Just remember to leave out that um, baby hairline and your eyebrows. If you've got sideburns, just make sure you also leave them uncovered. <laughs> Okay, that was not part of the deal, but hey, I do look scary and I thought I could scare you guys. Now, 20 minutes later. Just make sure that your mask is dry before you can peel it off. It makes it easier to peel off. I'm just going to bring you guys close so that you can see how I'm going to be peeling this off. Can you see it's dry? You can even feel it when it's dry. Now I'm going to peel off the mask from my face. Easy peasy. <laughs> and then if you have any bits of the mask left on your skin, you can just remove them with your fingertips. Just remember to be gentle. I am now going to use my cell tone spot control toner to apply this you need to hold the spray approximately 10 cm from the face and spray it directly onto the skin pat gentle into the skin until fully absorbed this is a non-alcoholic toner and it leaves your skin hydrated. And now, for the final touch, we're going to use the sunscreen. If you've got a face cream that you're currently using, please use the face cream. I'm just not using a face cream right now. I'm using the sunscreen. So you just pat that onto your skin. and wrap around your neck. And just like that, we have come to the end of today's video. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tips. Like and share the video. Until next time, take care.